Hi everyone and welcome back. If you're returning, if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, I'm a seer, I tap into past, present and future energies. I'm a psychic and I'm a healer and I'm an open channel for the divine. And generally right now all my meshes are twin flame related because I'm a twin flame myself. So if you've been guided to my channel or this message is showing up in your feed, it doesn't matter when, then there could be a message for you regarding your twin flame journey and I hope you find the answer to you. So before I begin my usual prayer of protection for myself and for you, I just want to thank you all for the comments, the likes, the shares, the subscriptions, the just everything, everything you do for this channel. This is you guys' channel and every, every single message that comes through is because you guys bring that energy. So let me just put that out there again and tell you this is a channel that's for you and all about you because it's your energy that brings the message through. So I just wanted to say that to everyone. Thank you so, so much. So I begin all my messages the same way by calling in my divine protection for myself and for you watching the video at home calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light and the ascending masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective. Archangel Michael, can I please ask you to surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times. Thank you, Archangel Michael. And can I also ask whoever watches this message online, you surround them, their loved ones, their home and pets in a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilize the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring only clear and concise messages can come through for the Twin Flame Collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to you all. And so it is. So, um, earlier on, um, during meditation, um, I heard something about guardians of the earth. And I saw as cheesy as this sounds, it looked like the Avengers or something, and it's like a pack of people walking in a group. Like, you know, at the end of Avengers, something you would see all the Avengers walking side by side, shoulder to shoulder in a group. It was kind of like that, except these people had golden auras. So it could be the golden children who are coming into union, and the twin flames are coming into union right now. And they're basically, this vision could be, this is the guardians of the earth, Twin flames are here for a very, very specific reason. Who could be coming into twin, twin flame union any day now or any time now. But it's very specific um, group of twin flames. And I just kept on hearing Earth Guardians. So they're here for a very specific reason to do something to do with the Earth. <coughs> now this could be to do with Mother Gaia or some sort of environmental, because <clears throat> I heard tree surgeon, I'm sure at some point as well, someone could be a tree surgeon or trained to be a tree surgeon or something. But there's definitely someone here about earth guardians. Um, so I'm going to clear the energy. So I've just started humming a song here and I think it's a prayer. I think it's, um, I think An Andrea Bocelli or um, Celine Dion or something sang it with them. It's a song called The Prayer. Um, Let this be a prayer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I wrote down another song earlier during meditation, which was so strange. And I had to look up 
it was um it was a hem now it's about sadly it's about the slave trade at one point or about Mike so it's about Archangel Michael and it's that song um Michael row the boat ashore hallelujah Michael row the boat ashore and it's all about Archangel Michael giving them a push to get to the other side and this was going through the river Jordan where um, obviously Jesus was baptised in the River Jordan and this was about the slaves um, escaping to liberation and they were going through the River Jordan and they were seeing it as a sort of death and rebirth, a re-baptism into the world and they were all, um, you know, thanking Jesus and Amen and, um, and it was all about Archangel Michael giving them that last push to get to the other side, to get to their freedom. Um, so that's where that, that song originates from, Michael, row your boat ashore, hallelujah. So my, Archie, Ar, sorry I can't speak tonight, you can tell I don't edit my videos. Um, Archangel Michael, I've got Archangel Michael's deck here and we'll get a, a little message from him and a prayer for him at the end. But whoever this group is, they're definitely getting into that last push of their, their push towards the finish line for their union. So that's what i have for you and i've got um i'm going to find out what the twin flames i'm picking up on here what their special gifts are so i'm going to do that at the end and we'll get a, a special prayer from archangel michael so i'm i've got a, a new ring light and i'm really struggling to get to grips because it's a completely new angle for me so bear with me if i seem like a bit disorientated at times it's sitting at a different angle and stuff it's much better and I had it on a, the, a wrong setting of lighting last night so I looked like I had really bad sunburn in last night's video so I do apologise so but let's not worry about that so let's let's get a tarot on this first tell me more about this group I'm picking up on here I heard the name Felix. Now that could be a cartoon, it could be a dog, it could be a cat. I know there's there's an advert about Felix the cat, but um this means something to someone. Now I'm seeing the Statue of Liberty in my little crystal um sphere here, so there's something about definitely about liberation, freedom. Yeah. Courage, strength, someday trying to get the courage and strength to break free. Yeah, someone's trying to break free. Four of Pentacles, somebody was holding on to another individual here, or a, this could have been a group of individuals holding on to someone else. Someone's trying to, yeah, someone's trying to get the courage to break free of a situation. King of Wands. Coming out every single night. Eight of Cups. So there's a King of Wands here who's trying to find the strength to walk away from a, a group or a person that's been trying to hold them back. There's a, this cycle's closing out and the new moon is coming up. Um, I'm sure somebody will know in the comments. Is it the 4th of September or something like that? So very close. A week away or something. There could be a new cycle about to start here for someone or for a group of someone. Tell me more. Tell me more, please. Faith. But that's also this is also a community. So I'm gonna just clarify this, but I do feel this I've put the faith card on top of the courage. Archangel Michael is helping someone here get to the other side. This is um, somebody who is stuck in the middle, like the River Jordan, and trying to get their liberation and freedom on the other side of things. And 
Archangel Michael is giving them that last push to keep rowing, keep going. Um, Michael, row that boat ashore. Archangel Michael, give me the strength to keep rowing that boat. Who's been holding on to this masculine? Page of Pentacles. So this could be a younger air sign. Somebody who is younger than your masculine. Considerably younger when it comes out as a page. Or this could be to do with a child. Somebody keeping hold of your masculine because of a child. Clarify the Page of Swords. Uh, page of Swords, where did that come? Page of Pentacles, so yeah, the Hermit. So they could be dealing with a younger Virgo. Um, or this masculine has definitely been hermiting themselves away. Um, trying to figure out what to do here. Trying to figure out their next move to get out of this situation. Or they went through a dark night of the soul. Ten of Cups. So this has definitely been like a family situation here. Okay. Um. So High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles, Fool, and the Sun. So what I'm getting here, this masculine's finally tapping into his gifts of some kind. He's finally making a break for freedom. Now, I don't know what's going on in this family situation or if there's a child involved or whatever. Um, but whatever is going on here, Archangel Michael getting this person free of a situation. Now, if this person was trapped in a relationship with a karmic because of a child, maybe they're going to try and work something out with a child. I don't believe any divine masculine should just up and leave their children um, regardless of their connection with their twin flame so I feel whatever is happening here will be done in a correct way I, I, yeah I can't imagine there'll be any kind of children affected through this because nobody would want that but there's something here this person's this masculine's finally seeing through the veil they're finally seeing the truth and I mean, they may be seeing themselves as a bit foolish for not seeing it sooner. But this is either a group of masculines or one specific masculine, but this masculine and this feminine in this reading are definitely part of a group here that have got very um, important roles as earth guardians. And I kept on hearing guardians. Hey, the sun. And that's a yes card for me as well. So what I'm saying is right, but this... This masculine is getting set free. He's getting to go after his happiness. Tell me more, please. <laughs> I'm seeing a Viking longship. I keep on getting Viking energy the last few nights. I'll get my past life. I'll get my um, past life cards out in a minute and we'll have a quick look in between where I go to get the next cards. But there's something that I just saw a Viking longship. Judgment. So I feel this masculine has just made a huge life changing decision after going through some sort of spiritual awakening. <laughs> Knight of Swords. They have, they've, they've had some sort of epiphany moment. They've seen the truth in a situation. They've seen, yeah, they've seen the truth in a situation that's kept them stuck and bound for a very, very long time, I feel. This person has wanted to reach out to you, to express something to you, to express how they felt about you before. Yeah. Nine of Cups and Five of Cups. This person regrets not reaching out to you before because you are everything that they want in a person. You are their star. You are their Queen of Wands. This is a magician energy for sure. 
powerful gifts of some kind. I'm going to get the, I'll say, I'll, I'll find out exactly which gifts both these twins possess or this group of twins possess. But I'm getting very magical energy. Page of Wands, there's so <laughs> there's exciting news coming in. There's exciting news coming in. And it's going to lead to something very exciting and happy for you both. And I just split the deck on the Two of Cups. Michael is trying to free. They're trying to get this masculine or masculines to do that final row to get there, to get to the other side, to get to their freedom. And I keep seeing that Viking longship, so it's almost like, you know, he's getting them all to row. <laughs> like to move, because the Viking longships was, it was, you know, all the oars come out the side, kind of like the pirate ships. Um, let's see. I don't believe it. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. That is just Knight of Cups and Ace of Cups. I mean, come on, it just doesn't get much better than that, does it? I'm seeing a fanfare, like trumpets and a fanfare with the flags hanging down. I'm seeing a fanfare. So this is a couple that are long overdue. It's going to be like, the universe is going to be releasing a fanfare of celebration for this couple. Archangel Metatron is definitely around as well, because Archangel Metatron's around right now. So he's definitely working with this couple, certainly helping the masculine with his third eye. Let's have a wee check into past lives. I wasn't planning and there's a six of cups just as I say that. Wow. Let's have a little dig into past life. So move this deck over here for a bit. I've got my own little makeshift deck while I'm designing my own, which hopefully will be around soon. Mid, um, bottom of the deck is Middle East and Persia energy. So let me get... Um, oh, I was going to also get the other, I don't know, I was going to try and get the other past life deck, but <laughs> I'll just use this one. Um, let's see. So can I get some, yes I can, peacekeeper diplomats, diplomatic um, energy. So in past life, this is a group of people who were peacekeepers, who were diplomats of some kind in past lives. They're, they're here to do the same. They're guardians. They're earth guardians here to bring peace to earth. Wow. Give me a bit more past life information on So karmic love interest. This person was connected to a karmic karmic love interest from past lives, which kept them stuck. And that's who Archangel Michael's trying to free this person from. Authority figure, great leader. So this person or this twin flame couple were great leaders in past lives. Mermaid of Mentaka. So definitely Mermaid of Mentaka energy coming through again. Um, I'm sure that came through the other night as well. Any other past life energy? Earth Warrior. King or Queen. Babylon. Oh, I just, I sorry, it just dawned on me. I wrote down the book of Jeremiah during my um, meditation, and the only section of the book of Jeremiah I actually wish I'd read it before I started this reading, because that is all about Babylon. That is all about Babylon and the Jews being exiled to Babylon. This person could have connections to Babylon, and I started out with the Middle East on the bottom. And the book of Jeremiah is all about Babylon, but I just want to say I don't um, 
one chapter, verse 1 to 25, after verse 25, everything goes a bit edited by the Deuteronomist. So just be mindful of that. If you're reading the book of Jeremiah, 1 to 25 is the most authentic part that was written by Jeremiah. Um, but after, I think, verse 25, it goes a bit edited and swerves away from the genuine writings of Jeremiah. So, um, the king or queen? Hmm. Oh, a very strong past life energy coming through. Okay, um, give me a couple more then I'm going to go back to the present. Um, 144 Chosen, musician, dancer of the arts, author, writer or journalist. So this person could have been involved. Um, or this person could even be Jeremiah, who knows? But there's something about the book of Jeremiah and um, definitely Jeremiah is about Babylon. So this person could have been around at that time when Jeremiah um, was writing or, some, writing or something. Let's see. Any other past life energy for this couple? Health conditions and sickness. So this is somebody who's taken a lot of health conditions from past lives. They may be recovering from something. So I kept seeing the fear of... Um, the fear of I'm so sorry. My, I, I wish I could edit my videos because I know I do so many bloopers. The Four of Swords a couple of times during shuffle. So this person definitely could be recovering from an illness or some sort of sickness or something. So I've just realised my dishwasher's on. I hope that noise is not too disturbing. Um, we're, unfortunately, we're in my kitchen where I have to wash the dishes. <laughs> so, let's see. If it gets noisy, I'll put it off. Um, let's see. Anything else? Anything else? Wow. Okay. Royal ancestors. So we've got king or queen and royal ancestors. So not only was this person a king or queen in past lives, their soul was a king or queen, their soul was a peacekeeper or their, they were a peacekeeper, earth warrior. Oh, I just realised what's written underneath that. Gaia, remember I said this could be guardians for earth and royal ancestors. And I just split the deck on Middle Eastern Persia. Wow, okay. So this is definitely a very strong picture already here. This is peacekeepers, earth warriors for Gaia, authority figures. There was a karmic love interest that this person still had to close out a contract with. And judging by the world card, I feel like they're doing that um, or about to do that. Archangel Michael is given this, this masculine the last push over the finish line, I feel, to get that... Um, to get that freedom. Yeah. So I'm just trying to fix my cards so they don't fall on the floor because I'm sitting trying to sit them on a little shelf under there. Okay. Where shall I go now? I'm going to get a Language of Light card and see what's going on here. I'll put my glasses on because it's always a lot easier to see them on. <laughs> But then I get to see how messy my hair is. Honestly, I can't do anything with the front of my hair right now. It is always so curly and I just it just sits there so so sorry. I'll try and put it back in my ear or something. Oh. My hair's alright, but never mind. <laughs> um okay. Can I get some cards about this connection? Can I get some cards about this masculine and this feminine? I heard solicitor, 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 or um, we, obviously we say solicitor here in America, you would say lawyer, I think. Um, so someone's with a lot getting a lawyer right now. There is only light. This person is understanding that that's all there is now. They are, they are powerful warriors of light. There's only light, light is what, it will lead the way. It will lead us all. It's, and I do love, um, I think it was St. Francis of Assisi said that, like, 
all the darkness in the world cannot cannot extinguish the light from one candle unless a wick burns down of course but the, the principle of it being that you know the light of one candle can light up the darkness and it's so true it's so so true and i'm just this this card almost like the sun in the background so remember we saw the sun the tarot so there's definitely something here this person has strong connection to the, to the sun as well channeling so this person is definitely some sort of channel and um, they are channeling um messages and guidance from the divine anything else anything else but this masculine that's relevant thank you focus okay they're getting their focus back archangel michael Archangel Metatron, they are doing this. They are working heavily with this masculine and other archangels, not just those two. I mean, I feel there's a huge amount of presence around this masculine. And I'm going to get some Keepers of the Light card to see which one of the um, those energies are helping this masculine. This masculine has so much support. Remembrance. He's starting to remember exactly who he is. Yeah, Archangel Metatron is helping this masculine and Archangel Sandalphon. Archangel Raziel. So, soul writing. This masculine could definitely be a writer of some kind because we saw a journalist, a writer in past lives. And this is all about allowing your soul to write, allowing your soul to be creative through writing. So there's definitely something here and I feel like this person's soul is writing a new story. So they are writing a new story for themselves in this. Sorry, just don't know why my hair is just such a right to me. They're writing a new story for themselves. Yeah. Anything else? Now I'm seeing brick by brick. So this is somebody who's trying to build from the, when you build a house from the foundation up, it starts off brick by brick. This person is either literally building a house or they're trying to rebuild their foundation brick by brick after walking away from some sort of karmic energy. You are the universe. Whoa, I love this card. This is somebody who has a really, really strong connection to Gaia, to the universe. This is somebody who is here to literally, this is, I feel this is a group of twins. Now we're all here to help Earth Ascend, but I feel this is a group that is here to purposely help push humanity into that ascension energy. Prepare them for ascension, but also help prepare Mother Gaia. And I feel Mother Gaia is already starting to heal herself and repair. And I mean, I, I see different news clips and stuff coming onto my news, news feed and I don't watch the news. I don't watch, I don't read newspapers. I don't watch news on social media, nothing. But occasionally like, I'll get something on my YouTube um, feed and it's usually about the environment. Um, so what this person is, they're co-creating something with the universe, but it's something very powerful that's literally going to help humanity through some sort of earth ascension. Divine animals. Again, Mother Gaia energy. This masculine works with nature, he works with animals, he is very heavily connected to, as I say, um, some sort of bring, bringing peace on earth, working with animals, working with, you know, it's just, there's something very, very connected here to, to Mother Gaia and nature. 
Yeah, Earth Warrior, Guardian of the Earth, Guardian, something like that. Authentic truth. Thank you. <laughs> I do my best. But yeah, the, yeah, this person is standing in their authentic truth now. This person has made the decision to stand in their authentic truth and I think they're almost at the other side of that River Jordan. Um, not literally, figuratively of course, um, or maybe literally, but I don't think that. I think they are metaphorically halfway across that River Jordan and there's that yin yang symbol. So it says that nothing has gone wrong. Everything has gone right. Enlightenment. Look at all that Archangel Michael energy. This masculine has been enlightened about their twin flame connection here and that they have got something very, very important to do. And the joy cards here. An alignment. Now look, there's two. It, this kind of reminds me of, um, see look, there's like a, a big sword going through the heart, but in a nice way. It's like Archangel Michael's sword of truth, but it's kind of like the sword of light, but it's almost like, it's like, it's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like causing the heart to light up with beautiful divine light. So there's something here. This masculine is definitely moving into alignment and, you know, finally, oops, <laughs> finally aligning with her joy as well. And we've got the sun card that wants to come out. So, yeah. Okay. One more and then I'm going to get... I'll see which um, which energies are helping this masculine because I feel they've got a lot of help. Soul name. Oh, I love this card. This is when you find out your soul's original name. And this masculine has obviously found out his soul's original name. And it's the best feeling in the world. When you find out the name that was given to your soul when you were first created by God, the name that God gave you, not the all, not all the names you were given and loads of uh, incarnations where you were born and given a name by your mother, by your father, this is God's name for you, your soul's name. When your soul was created, this is the name that God gave and this masculine has found out that name and the awakening cards here. And for any of you who really, really want to know your soul name, and it does push you into alignment and it does put you closer to God, um, meditate on it. Ask um, Archangel Michael or Archangel Santon, whichever one of the angels you feel most connected to. Um, yeah, say you want that remembrance, you want, because my guides were calling me a name all the time and I wasn't sure um, if that was my guide's name or if this was way, way back at the start of my journey I just thought I kept on thinking that's such a pretty name but I don't know who it is they're talking about and then I discovered um, quite a few months after um, when the name kept on being referred to that it was my name and Archangel Mechelon that is that is your soul's name you know you've had many names and you've been many many unique um, individuals throughout thousands of years but your soul that's your soul's actual name and when you get your soul name it's a game changer so I would definitely recommend meditating on it if you're interested to know your actual soul name the one that God gave you that that will change everything around for you so let's see can you tell me um, who is working with this masculine feminine or this group of masculine feminines? I'm really interested to see what gifts they have. I definitely feel a lot of magic. I feel that kind of crackling kind of magic. Um, you know, the one that kind of crackles through your fingers. That kind of, I feel that there's a very powerful magic but I feel it's magic that's for the earth like magic to help the earth to flourish to help nature flourish 
to heal animals, nature. Let me see. Can I um, get some energies that could be around this masculine? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Mary Magdalene, the teacher awakens. You have something important to share with the world. Follow the inner call and don't let anything stop you now. That's amazing. Yeah, this, this masculine definitely um, is feeling very, very connected to their their soul roots. They're remembering everything about their past now. And look who's on the bottom. Mother Mary. Oops, this one wanted to jump out. Lord Shiva, Transcendence. Rise up, honour your inner force. Steps are being given, dance with the universe. And there's that dance with the universe again, the working with the universe card. This masculine is definitely, he has, he is answering the call here because I feel like this call is an important one. This is one where they're saying, this has to happen now. This is not a drill anymore. You need to get into action here. You are, you are here for a very, very specific purpose. Kasumi, the cloak of wisdom, you already know the answer you seek, trust what you know. This masculine has a lot of wisdom and knowledge and they're saying to him to trust it. Trust your inner guidance, trust your wisdom because you've done this before. You know what you're here to do. You already know what you're here to do. I've just seen the like, two little steps and they've just heard step up. <laughs> step up. And I was like, okay, they've asked him to step up. Um so we had this energy before, Cernanos, um or Kernanos at Kernanos, the life force energy, express your driving passions, sensual and sexual powers are increased at this time. So I'd I'd always get sort of Kundalini energy from this as well. But I think, um, as we've said before, twin flames have definitely got, um, they have a very unique um, sexual chemistry, but a very unique frequency comes from them being intimate as well. So this masculine is definitely fired up and <laughs> they're fired up and ready for their, their union. I definitely feel that. So Odin, Psychic Insights, your third eye is wide open, see the truth for what it is and follow your intuition. So I, I did feel this masculine's finally tapping into his intuition, he's seeing clearly. He's seeing so clearly. Um, like I'm just getting crystal clear. Yeah, Archangel Michael. It's just, yeah, Archangel Michael is, is now helping this masculine with their confidence and knowing that they're they're close to, yeah, they're close to achieving everything. Here, they're close to their finish line. And I'm seeing a rocket being launched. So that is what my guides give me when it's almost lift off. We almost have lift off. Diana, focused intention. Now there's that focus word again. Um, now Diana, also known as Artemis, who I was speaking about last night in my reading last night. Um, she's obviously the, the goddess of the hunt. So this is about telling the masculine to stay focused. Um, you know, it's not about him hunting for anything, but staying, because to be a good hunter, you need to be focused. You need to be very aware of your surroundings. And that's what they're getting this masculine to do. Think about what you... Think about what you desire, set your sights on it and expect the best possible outcome. So they're saying, you know, this masculine has the potential to reach his goals. He just needs to stay focused. Any other energies um, around this masculine? So El Moria, awakening presence. The universe is within you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So there's that universe word again. This masculine is honestly... Um, very very heavily protected 
has so much divine presence around them. Yeah, there's there's something very powerful and very beautiful about this masculine energy. And they are very divine. They are very peaceful, very calming energy. So Isis, magic is manifesting. The magic is manifesting. So your dreams, visions and goals are becoming a reality. Just stay focused. And there's that stay focused again. And um, Goddess Isa energy, uh, God, Goddess Isis energy showed up in last night's reading as well. Um, when I got the fertile soil and I feel Isis energy was coming through to, to give um, sort of newness and freshness and more fertile energy. Um, so there's definitely something very important and very fascinating about this masculine um, and their twin flame, obviously, because they're, they're in this together. White Eagle, Ancestor Spirits, connecting to your lineage, a family wound or pattern can be healed now. So this masculine definitely was healing out some sort of, um, you know, they're either a, a curse breaker, they had to heal an ancestral pattern. And so many um, twin flames, they are generational curse breakers and things, but also a lot of their ancestors, their magic and things was bound or um, things like that. They had their magic trapped and stuff like that. Um, maybe because they were using it their own way in past lives, who knows? But a lot of twin flames are unlocking those magical abilities now that their ancestors are now giving to them because, but you can only get your ancestors gifts if you are in the right energy and using them for the power of good. So that's why it's almost like, almost like what Her Heracles had to do. He had to go through all his trials, um, but I almost feel that's what twin flames have to do. They have to prove their purity of heart. They have to prove, um, I cannot talk tonight. They have to um, prove they have purity of heart. They have to always do everything with grace and compassion and above all else unconditional love or you don't get your ancestors gifts. So if you're getting your ancestors gifts and this masculine is getting his ancestors gifts, then it's a good chance this masculine is a very, very good person and whoever else has been given their ancestral gifts are very, very good person because they, they can be taken away again if you're not using them to spread love and light and joy to others because they're all, they're all God-given gifts at the end of the day, even to your ancestors. So let me see. I'm going to see which gifts um, before I get a prayer from Archangel Michael. So I took off my glasses, which wasn't really smart because I've got to read stuff on these cards. So let me see. Can you let me know which gifts that this masculine and their feminine, or this group of masculine or feminines possess? And one is still on the table, so I'm going to check that one out. Oops. <sighs> Past lives. <laughs> oh my goodness. And on the bottom of the deck, Akashic Records. So there's definitely a lot of wisdom coming in for this. I'm going to take those out, I'll read them in a moment. But there's definitely a lot of um, very, very powerful energy in this masculine. So runes, now remember we got the Odin card, so and we got the Viking longship. So this um, person could definitely have a lot of um, connections there as well. So charm casting, and it's so weird. Because I, I've got my charms here. I'm going to pull some charms at the end if I remembered. Um, so I don't know why I say choose charms tonight. But this person is some sort of charm caster. Psychic healer. Yeah. Give me one more of the gifts that this masculine and feminine possess. And I'll read out the gifts that come out. Ooh. Ooh, that is so interesting. And there's a musician on this card. 
my let me see get my glasses back on i think i'll definitely get some charms now since since um the charm caster card has come out and there's a reason why i got my charms out tonight that sounded so rude didn't i i would never get my charms out on my video <laughs> let me see so past lives that one that one so so the charm casting you're being called to explore working with charms small objects and trinkets to receive and integrate intuitive messages from the divine so charm caster spell work you're being called to explore identifying raising and directing energy with the intention of bringing forth an outcome so this is like using earth magic to better the earth this is like they're asking for um you know like to send out um white magic alchemy magic into the earth to help the earth heal the earth so this is spell work with good intentions not your your general stuff that people frown upon this is like healing energy work spell work um it says to raising and directing energy with the intention of bringing forth an outcome so there's something here that's going to help this masculine's magic is going to help with something psychic healing you've been called to explore your psychic and spiritual healing gifts to help improve um one's condition sorry one yeah one's condition to no matter if you're focusing on the mind body or soul so this is yeah a psychic healer can help with healing mind body and soul like they can help to align um you know like a psychic healer can basically figure out where the the issue is where the blockages are where it's your chakras where it's something to do with your physical body and this person has that kind of abilities or their feminine does runes you're being called to explore the ancient norse method of divination using their alphabet to, to use higher guidance and to ask about the future so asking about the future through the, the use of rune stones um clear audience you're being called to explore the words and sounds you're hearing to deliver the message straight from from spirit and your guides now, and remember we got this person who's a musician in past lives and there's the the musician the saxophone this person could play a saxophone so past lives in the akashic record so it says that you're being called to explore past lives to discover how the past is affecting current emotions situations and behaviors so you can gain a greater understanding so this is the kind of stuff i I talk about and do as well and by the way I see when I first used these cards I could not believe how true they were every single every single card that came out was what my gifts are and this was actually one of my gifts as well working with people to heal their past lives um working with people to heal issues from their past lives this was one of my cards I mean um but these cards are so accurate and on point um, so this person has been asked to do similar, to work to find out what's going on with people's past lives. Akashic Records, you're being called to explore the Akashic Records to provide powerful insights and guidance to others. So again, Akashic reader, working with people's past lives to heal them in the present. Because trust me, your, your past lives affect your present day. And the more you can heal from your past lives and forgive things from your past life, heal out illnesses from your past lives, etc, etc. That's why I'm trying to develop this deck that gives people a lot of insight into where they've got um, heart conditions from past lives, whatever this is. Um, there's so much you need to focus on from your past life to actually clear out your karma and cut cords in the present. Um, so it says Ayurvedic medicine. Ayurvedic medicine. You are being called to explore healing with Ayurvedic um, treatments to help bring internal purification and balance. I'm not too sure what that means. So excuse my ignorance. I have never had that card come out in this deck, so I have no idea. Um, 
I'm just trying to even look what it looks like. Um, some some sort of powder. I, I need to I need to Google that. So whatever this is, it's some it's some form of healing that I've never heard of. <laughs> so I need to go and Google it after I'm finished this evening. So I'm going to get um, I will get a prayer from Archangel Michael deck in a second. But I'm going to get a few charms since this person is a is a charm caster. So it's so strange because I haven't used these charms for literally months, maybe at least five weeks or something, um, five or six weeks. And so I'm just shuffling these cards because I didn't like they were sitting messily. Um, just putting the crystal back on top. And um, today I thought I'm going to use these charms. So let me get some charms. something on my mat. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Angel wings. The seashell, which reminds me of the beach, but also of um, mermaids and things. So mermaid and mintaka card come through. The grapes, which is for me is all about um, kind of nine of pentacles energy, sort of good living, harvest season. Um, but this is just living the good life when the grapes come out. Um, the stag, divine masculine energy. So we've got a little flower here, which is definitely Mother Gaia and nature energy. Let's see, willpower. So this person is definitely needing all their willpower. The owl. So this person could have size in their chart. In fact, I should have got my, my dice. I'll get them out in a minute. This person could have size in their chart or an owl is their spirit guide. Oops. Dragon. Again, we've got like a sun flare here. So we did, remember we did get the sun card a lot. So this could be Leo energy for the masculine. Um, we have a cat. So... Um, they could have like a cat could be their familiar or something or their divine feminine could have a cat or their it's Lyra energy um, what is that that is a bow like a big long I can't really see this but this is like a, a long kind of um, like barge or boat type thing and we did see the viking or sorry I, I did tell you I saw a viking longship Um <gasps> Look at that. Now, a Viking longship is not a pirate ship, but look at the skull and crossbones. Because <laughs> I said it's kind of like a pirate ship I'm seeing with the, the oars. Um, so, um, the crab. So, somebody could have some cancer on their chart. The cross. So, this is somebody who is some sort of powerful, um, connect, powerfully connected to their faith. And look, the cross again. Definitely somebody who has been always been a peacekeeper, always been connected to God very heavily here. Um the butterfly, so transformation. What does this one say? It says, I love you to the moon and back. And look, there's that boat energy again. Michael row your boat ashore, and this time it's the, the pirate's ship wheel. We've got a little leaf, which again is Mother Gaia energy and leaf signifies new beginnings what's this one another cat so cats could definitely be part and parcel and there's a little paw like a little dog paw so remember we saw animals so this person really has a strong connection to animals divine animals um the cupcake so this person might have a sweet tooth or maybe they call you cupcake <laughs> um another owl so a lot of nature here we have the mask so this person definitely had a lot of who they were from you in the past they i think but the mask can also tell me this masculine's been hiding a lot of their true emotions um so again another animal a little turtle infinity symbol <laughs> this is the year of infinity look at that beautiful gold infinity symbol that's just so gorgeous um the feather shaman energy 
the anchor so a beautiful gold anchor another more bow energy butterfly another butterfly so strong transformation definitely strong transformation and another little flower and what's this here Ooh, evil eye <laughs> so somebody's definitely um this karmic energy is definitely um giving off some negativity here or trying to either towards you divine feminine or this masculine has dealt with a lot of evil eye and we have the aeroplane so either you and this person are about to do some traveling to help and I, I suspect you would if you're going to be some sort of um earth guardian you would need to travel the earth travel the world and do something here so that was amazing i should use my charms more because they're actually so much fun okay i'll get some um zodiac signs and oh yeah yeah because i'm just thinking i was thinking about mars energy there because earlier on during meditation i kept seeing now i can only really describe it as you know, like in, in these old cowboy movies, they'd be walking through some sort of canyon and it was like really bright kind of orangey red kind of cliffs on either side. And it was just a very deep canyon and it had like, I kept on looking, looking like I was flying over something like that today. Like really, really high, bright, ready orange kind of cliffs into a very deep, deep gorge. And for some reason, I kept on thinking Mars energy. Um, so I don't know where I was seeing through. I was definitely seeing through a bird's eye or bird's eye view of something, but I wasn't sure whose memory it was or... It was very strange. But, yeah. I'm trying to think what else came through today that I haven't mentioned. That could be significant. No, I think it's just a tree surge and, and I definitely feel this person is a nature... nature Naturist or something. Sagittarius. <laughs> Always comes through. South Node. And Seventh House. Libra. Uranus. And Seventh House. Libra again. Uh, Neptune. And Eighth House. Aries. Sixth House and south node again cancer eighth house and saturn i feel like a bingo caller <laughs> two fat ladies 88 <laughs> um sorry i got distracted there aries venus and first house so aries sag um i just saw 57 57 which is 12 12 Three. So, master number of some kind, Pisces, Saturn, and Fat, Fifth House. Um, Capricorn, Twelfth House, and Saturn. A couple more rolls, and then Aries again. So that's Aries four times. So strong Aries. And Libra. So Libra and Aries are definitely the strongest and Cancer again. So Libra, Aries, Cancer and Capricorn. And we've got Sagittarius at the start. Any other signs? No, Cancer again. So Cancer, Libra, Sag and Capricorn are the main, the most powerful signs. So Libra, yeah, Libra, Capricorn, Cancer and Sag, the main signs that come through. Um, all right, so let's end on a beautiful prayer from Archangel Michael. So can I get a message please, Archangel Michael, for this connection, this masculine, that I feel you're helping. Can I get a message please, Archangel Michael, for this? masculine that you're helping here to thank you so it says it's time to leave this unhealthy situation 
No, oh, wow. How how synchronised is that? I said at the start, I think Archangel Michael's helping someone to get their freedom from a situation. And this is a card that he brought out. So, Archangel Michael, he's, he is a true saint as well as a beautiful Archangel. So, my prayer for this is Archangel Michael. What parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me. Thank you for he for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes into my life. So definitely Archangel Michael is heavily guiding this masculine back to light, back to love, back to his divine feminine. Can I get one more please, Archangel Michael? One more message to close out. Which has been another beautiful reading. Thank you so much to all who come to help me with this reading and all who watch it. Thank you. So take your time making this decision. So now I don't know if this is for you, Divine Feminine, when your masculine returns. I just saw 11 11. Or this could be your masculine who has been taking his time trying to decide about leaving his current situation. But we know there is some sort of legal matter going on. There's a lawyer involved. Um, romance angels are helping you now. So the bottom of the deck. Um, so this, they're trying to heal this love situation between you and your person. So it says, Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relax as I approach as I approach this situation. Sorry, I've got on glasses, but it's, it's still very dark. <laughs> so sorry, I'll do that again. Archangel Michael, please give me the the strength the strength. Um, sorry, I'll start again, Arlene. Third time lucky. Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach this this situation remind me remind me to detach and and step back allowing the situation to naturally unfold and thank you for protecting me at this time so what i'm getting from that message and that prayer is that archangel michael is telling this masculine don't rush things to happen now you do what you have to do to close out this situation to leave this toxic situation behind and allow the divine to do everything else. Don't worry about your your divine feminine. That will unfold naturally. Just focus on leaving this situation and allow the rest of the situation with your person to fall into fall into the natural order of things, okay? And on the and on the bottom of the deck that just kind of confirms it that the romance angels are helping you now. Um and look, spend more time outdoors. So this masculine is definitely, um, they are definitely powerfully connected to the outdoors, to nature and everything. So I think that's a bit too many, Archangel Michael. Thank you. Um, your children are watched over by the angels. So I feel there was a, there must have been children or something that this masculine was worried about being affected by leaving their situation. Um, yeah, detached from the situation. Okay, so uh, well, I'm going I'm going to take these because and look, this eternal love card came out after focus on. So it says focus upon focus upon um, divine and perfect health and then eternal love in the bottom. So there's something here as well about just focus on your focus being love and bettering your health. I told you this masculine might have an illness from past lives that they have to heal. It may have been an illness that got triggered by being with this karmic in past lives. So if they chose to be with this karmic in past lives, yes. If they chose to be with this karmic in past lives, that's what got them sick in past lives. And if they chose to remain with this karmic over you in this lifetime again, that's what's made them sick. They've repeated the karmic cycle of choosing the karmic, choosing the path of karma and choosing the, kar the karmic made them sick again. So 
it says, um, God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus on perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being going forward. And this one, your children are watched over by angels. So I think this masculine was worried about his children being affected. Um, so it says, it says your guardian angels, your guardian angels, um, sorry, dear guardian angels of my children. Sorry, I really need my better glasses on. <laughs> dear guardian angels of my children, um, born and unborn. All right, I was, I was getting confused there by the word unborn for children. Sorry, dear guardian angels. <laughs> I think I should show you the card <laughs> and let you read it yourself. <laughs> Basically protecting the children. And I think maybe that's what's keeping the masculine stuck. They were worried um, about the children being affected and detached from the situation. Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachments to fear or dreams that I have that I have that may be centered in the knowing, the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation. So this mask, this masculine is getting Archangel Michael to help him detach from this toxic relationship. As I say, I feel there definitely was a child involved and that just kind of confirmed it when it says your children are safe. Um, I think they were staying in a karmic situation for their children or for a child. Um, but they were, they were miserable. This is your life purpose. This is your life purpose. They're telling this masculine your life purpose is more in aligned with your divine feminine. You, if you stay in karm in a karmic relationship, you're staying in karma, and you have a very important purpose to take take up here. Um, so you know they've definitely been pushed to ascend and leave a toxic situation behind and as i say archangel michael is getting them to to do that final push of the oars to get to the other side for their liberation so that's what i have for you everyone and i hope you've enjoyed it i always enjoy bringing you messages it's a it's a real blessing for me and i'm truly grateful for all the love you bring to my channel all the details you need from me are below, as always, um, how you can get in touch with me. I know people have emailed me. I've got a big list to get through of my personal readings this week, so I'm going to try and get through them over the next two days. And because I don't really do a lot of them, I, I'm lucky if I do 10 a month, excuse me, 10 a month of even that, or maybe. So I don't generally do a lot of personal readings, but I know how valuable they are because people tell me they get so much out of them. and. And I look forward to working with you all on a one-to-one -one basis and I will be in touch. Um, and I've got so many emails of people just send me emails to tell me their story, tell me how they're doing on their journey. And I love to read your emails. Don't think I'm not reading because I do. But I'm just trying to find the time to reply to them all. And I will. I definitely will. I promise you. I'm going to just try and take a couple of hours tomorrow, a couple of coffees in the morning, try and get stuck in. But, um, but thank you all so much. I really do appreciate you all. And... I, I send you all so much love and I pray for you all each night and I pray for your divine unions to come in very, very soon. But until then, God bless you all, as always, your homes, your families, your pets, and God bless your unions to come in very soon. And I'll do my closing prayer. Everlasting Father, thank you for this time together today and everything you do for us. As we all move on with our day or night, wherever we are in the world, would you go ahead of us, dwell within us, shine through us, blessing all those who cross our path. God of hope, would you fill us to overflowing today with all joy and peace by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the love. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Namaste. Bye now.